Welcome to Shaf's technical series. In today's session, we'll continue with the IBKR Python API discussion. And this is session four. In today's session, we'll discuss, discuss advanced orders, which are bracket order and combo order. In the previous sessions, we have gone through how to set up the IB, IBKR uh, development environment. Then we discussed uh, how to do order, uh, how to do a contract lookup. Uh, for example, look up a uh, future, an option, or a stock. Then we discussed how to create, update, delete an order. And in today's session, we'll discuss advanced orders, which are bracket order and combo order. I'll switch focus to the IBKR session. I have that open. So in today's session, we'll use the TWS instead of the API so that we can see the orders um, placed and also this is paper trading account so uh, the all these sessions are in paper trading account only i created and uh, this discussion is always for research purpose not any actual trading advice so i already uh, put those uh, orders in the bracket order and the combo order this is the bracket order and this is the combo order i'll cancel it i'll cancel these orders once and then we'll discuss how to place those orders and we'll go over the source code so I'll do a global cancel so all the orders are cancelled now I'll cancel out of this uh, session we discussed that order global cancel in a previous session I'll go back to the screen all the orders are cancelled so if you see here, it says cancelled by the trader. So I don't have any orders now. We'll just discuss the combo order. Then we can discuss the bracket order. So assume you have a scenario where you want to trade two or more stocks and have, uh, say in this example, we have uh, Apple and Tesla. And then you are bearish on one stock and uh, bullish on the other. For example, in this scenario, we are bear we are bullish on Tesla. The Tesla would go up, and bearish on Apple. That Apple would go down. So you want to trade that spread between these two stocks. So in that scenario, we create a combo order. A combo order. Since we in our scenario, we have up to two stocks. We are going to have two legs in our order leg one and leg two and we simultaneously buy and sell a stock in our case we want to buy tesla and sell apple and due to this difference in uh, sentiment towards these two stocks one being bullish the other being bearish we want to capture the difference in the movement of these two stocks so that's why we create two combo legs leg one and leg two and we create one as a buy, the other one as sell, so sell Apple. And then we want to put the difference between those two stock prices as the limit. For example, in our case, Tesla minus Apple is at 75 at the moment, at this point in time. So we put a limit price of 80, the price between these two go to 80, the limit price this whole combo order will execute then we have uh, uh, time in force is uh, good till cancelled so that's how we create a combo order so we have two combo two legs in our combo order now we have used exchange as smart so ibkr will uh, take care of routing it to the correct exchange so we get the best price ex uh, best uh, price execution and uh, the security type in this case would be a bag for combo orders and exchange is smart currency is usd now since exchange is smart ibkr will do the best effort to execute both the legs at the same time but we have a flag here non guaranteed if it is non guaranteed it means both the legs might not be executed at the same time. One could execute, the other might not execute. So if you put non-guarantee is equal to one, then you're okay with that uh, uh, 
say a single leg being executed or both legs being executed but this prize would be honored but a single or uh, leg might be executed so i care as documentation on the on this tag instead of uh, smart if you give a specific exchange which takes combo orders then those exchanges specialize in uh, combo orders so they guarantee that both the legs would execute at the given limit price but in our case we have said non guaranteed is equal to 1 so ib care will make the best effort to execute both the legs this limit but it's not a guarantee so that's the combo legs we uh, and ib care uh, supports up to 6 uh, combo legs and then the rest of the code base is the same as we discussed in the previous session we wait for the next id next id will be will give us the order id the next order id this is executed once we connect to the client so here once we connect this callback is called with the next order id then we fill in all this information and then we place the order once we place the order these callbacks are called exec details order status open order etc so now i'll place the combo order so the order is placed i'll go back to the screen so this is our combo order minus one apple plus one tesla so we are bullish, bullish on tesla bearish on apple and the limit price is 80 and quantity is 0 out of 10. So we have uh, put in a quantity of 10. So the market is closed right now. So this order will not execute. And this is how combo orders are placed. And IBKR has a good reference on the same discussion. So you could go through that as well. Next, we'll discuss the bracket orders. In the bracket orders, say for example, you you want to trade Apple stock, exchange is smart again. So you want to buy at 140 and if the stock price hits 155, you want to sell it at a profit of 15. But if the stock price goes down, say to 135, you want to exit out of the position. So you have bracketed your uh, range. You bought at 140, buy low, sell high, at 155 with a profit of $15. And if the stock price falls, you want to stop your losses. So you put a stop loss at 155. So then you would have a loss of $5, but you have exited out of your position. So if you're day trading or your horizon is short term, then the bracket orders would work that way. Now I'll place the bracket order, then we'll check the UI. I submitted the order. I'll go back to the UI. The market is closed now, so the orders will not go in. So this is our uh, bracket order. We put a buy on Apple at 140, and then we put a limit order of 155, which we call it a profit taker. The stock hits 155, then we would have a profit of $15. And we put a stop loss at 135. We'll discuss the auxiliary price at a later point. Right now, we put both auxiliary price and the stop loss price at the same at 135. So if the stock goes to 135, we'll exit out of the position. So that way, we put a bracket order and we can cancel out individual orders so for example say you don't want to put a stop loss you can cancel this single order or you can cancel the parent order if you cancel the parent order all these will be cancelled and this is the combo order which is placed so for example if i call out the this one so those have gone i still have this limit order at 140 the other two orders are cancelled that's how you place a bracket order. 
Shafts UI provides red analysis screen, which you can reach from, uh, from the analytics spread analysis page. So this is relevant if you are doing combo orders. For example, in our case, we were bullish on Tesla and bullish on Apple. So to do this kind of analysis, you could use the spread analysis page. In the spread analysis page, you can select two stocks. For example, in this case, I selected Tesla and Apple, left and right. So left stock would be long, right would be short. Then you take a spread by the, by taking the adjusted close price of the take the right uh, left side asset and minus the right side asset. So you get the spread. So you can do the spread analysis like this. For example, in this case, Tesla minus Apple stock price adjusted close price spread is trending this way, and uh, here it trends this way. Just the spread and date moving averages and standard deviation and it also shows the the latest spread values and the st statistics for example between tesla and apple the maximum spread between the adjusted close prices was at 260 dollars the minimum was at minus 44 at minus 44 that means apple was higher than tesla so using these summary statistics to spread the analysis between two assets, left and right. So I'll cover this in a separate video session, but uh, for today, I just wanted to let you know that the spread the analysis can be done from the analytics section, spread analysis page. And this, is, uh, this would help you in placing combo orders. With that, I'll close today's session. If you have any questions or comments, please reach me out in the comment section here.